Hey guys, this is Ben from Playerlands, and today we're going to be looking at how to set up an online web store for your Minecraft server. So setting up an online web store will allow you to easily sell in-game content to your Minecraft community. So this could be in-game items such as swords or armor, or ranks that give your players with more permissions. Playerlands.com is the best way to go about this and is constantly being updated with new and exciting features. So to begin with, uh, throughout this video, I'm going to presume that you already have a Minecraft server set up. So if you wonder how to do that, you can check the link in the description for a nice easy guide on how to set one up. Otherwise, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up our browser. Uh, so I'm using Google Chrome and then we're going to want to navigate to playerlands.com. Um, or you can just Google Playerlands and it should pop up and it's going to take you to the Playerlands website. So uh, on here we can see what everything's all about. So easy to set up stores for your Minecraft server, um, transactions with no monthly limits, all of this good stuff. Um, so the setup process is really simple. It is completely free if you want it to be. Um, or you can get the city package for $14.99 per month or $74.99 a month for the kingdom package. Just gives you more flexibility, um, uh, a few more features, uh, we'll get into that. Um, but otherwise it's completely free and you get the city package uh, free for your first month anyway. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to uh, use this sign up button to sign up. I've obviously already done this, but the process is just as you would expect it to be normally for a sign up process. Just enter your name, surname, your email address, uh, and then you just have to confirm that. Uh, so once you've done that, you're going to want to log in. So it'll take you to your login page. I mean, I've blurred out my details here, but it's pretty simple. So we're going to want to hit login. And then it's going to take you to the create a new server page. So this is going to, what we have to do here if we want to enter a name to identify just the name of our server, um, you know, our nickname for it. Um, so I'm going to call this, um, I'm just going to call this Playerlands. There we go. Let's just click Playerlands. Uh, then hit next. Then it's going to ask you just a few questions. So if you need Java, um, if you've already got server installed, obviously you're not going to need this. You need Minecraft, again, likely not. Uh, if you need server hosting, um, we're going to be doing this locally today, but if you need server hosting, there's obviously Bisect Mine Hut. Uh, a whole a whole host of different uh, server hosting companies you can set up. So um, this is our store we've created here, our Playerland store, but obviously it's not connected to anything yet. So we're going to want to click on configure server and then go over here. So the process, we've got four step process, server setup, so set up your server. So um, we're going to want to install the Playerland plugin. And what this does is it allows for your store to communicate with your um, Minecraft server. So you're going to want to hit this Playerland button. This will automatically download the latest version for uh, paper, spigot, whatever. There are also some older versions in here um, that you can access. So let's download that. So we're going to click keep. And then we're going to want to navigate to our server and then go into our plugins folder and just take our jar, so let's grab that, and just put it into the plugins folder of our server. Okay, and then we're gonna wanna go and run our server. And this could take a couple of minutes, and it's just gonna set up the uh, Playerlands plugin for us. Okay, so now we've loaded up the server, you can see Playerlands enabling Playerlands, blah, 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 it's all initialized. And if we go into our plugins folder, we'll see we've now got this playerlands config file. So um, what we now need to do is we need to run the following command in the game to link your store to your Minecraft server. So we can just copy this, go into our console, paste it, make sure to just remove that first forward slash, and then just hit enter. Um, and then it should say successfully link store and server restarting. So your server will then close and then depending on your config files, it'll restart or not. Um, that's just, um, that's perfectly normal. Just need to restart your server so it can link to your game. So then we can double check that by going into, back into our server and just running that again. Okay, cool. So now that's done, we can go back into our um, server overview and you might just need to refresh this page uh, just to check your server. So now you can see it's healthy uh, instead of it not being configured. So that's all set up. Your server is healthy. Um, cool. So now obviously get a world. This is just here in case you need a Minecraft world. 
Um, and now we can create a store. So let's hit create a store. Um, so currently, uh, you need to have a playerland subdomain, which is part of the uh, free package. And very soon, we're going to be adding in your own custom domains that you can do for your um, store. Uh, so for now, we're just going to call this playerlands. Uh, shop.playlands.com. So that'll be the URL that your players will come to to get their packages that they can buy in game. So we're going to hit next. Okay, cool. So then that'll bring us back here and then we can go to visit add stores. So this is our playerlands.shop.playerlands.com. Uh, we can go on, uh, if we hit view, um, then we can just see a little bit more information about our store, but we just want to uh, hit save and make primary store here and then hit save. Uh, go back to our stores. Uh, we can visit the site. Uh, when you first do this, it might take a little bit to load up just on its first time, but then after that, it should all be good. Um, it doesn't actually have any items in it yet, so we'll come back to this in a moment. If we go back to our overview, okay, so now we can go, we can add some products. So if we hit add product, um, so this can be anything. So I think for this episode, the purpose of this episode, we'll just give them, say, um, pay a dollar or I mean, in this pay however much, and they get a sword. So let's say a sword package. Um, I'm just going to price this at 10 cents. Uh, well, let's go, let's go with a dollar. Um, and then we can upload an image. So I could get a uh, iron sword Minecraft. Just go into images. Download a picture of this. Save that image. Upload that on downloads, Iron Sword. So we've got a nice picture of Iron Sword there. Uh, so they know what it is. Product info. Um, so purchase an Iron Sword for $1. $1, $1. And then the command is the command that the server needs to execute to give the player the sword. So luckily, the example here is that. So we're going to uh, give and then player in the brackets. And then Minecraft colon iron sword one. So eventually in the very near future, this is gonna be a lot easier. There's gonna be a nice drop down menu. Um, it'll do it all for you. So you won't have to know exactly what the commands are. But for now, uh, if you just look online, uh, you can see uh, spig or Minecraft command, Minecraft commands. And then if you go to <coughs> minecraft.gamepedia.com, uh, the commands, uh, there's a nice list of commands on how to use them and stuff. Uh, so that's always useful. But like I say, uh, this is going to be updated very soon with a nice new snazzy way of getting it all done. So here we can now click create package. So that's going to create that package. Uh, there's a few more things you can do. So you can add color material, price availability. Uh, we want to hit available here and then click save. So now we've got that nice and set up. Um, so now if we go into visit and add stores and view our site, then we can see we've got welcome to our store and uh, the Minecraft sword package. We can see more info, purchase at Minecraft sword for $1. And then you can add this to your basket um, and uh, purchase it. But obviously the player needs, the players need to know how to get to this site. So you could obviously advertise the URL to your site somewhere or uh, you can do that in game. So I'm just gonna hop back into the server and show you how to do that. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in the server, which is connected to my Playerlands store, and I can do forward slash Playerlands space um, buy, and then hit enter. And it'll say click here to visit the online shop. So this is a command that your players can do. You click on that and it'll take them to your store. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to my basket, go up to my basket, Go to checkout and then just purchase that. So I'll just fill in this. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just doing this through PayPal. So pay now. Purchase that for one dollar. Wait for that to get confirmed. There we go. So thank you, your confirmation number is this, and then and then as you can see in the game, we've got Playerlands delivery complete and we've got given our iron sword. So a nice quick delivery system there. Um, so another couple of ways that uh, your players might want to access the store. Um, if you do forward slash uh, Playerlands help, 
uh, you'll see all the commands that are available here. So obviously you will need to be an operator to use these register and deregister commands. The deregister just gets rid of the um, link to your store. So there'll be no link between your store and the Minecraft server. And then you can redo that using the command that was shown earlier on. This promos is uh, something that we're currently still working on. So you, uh, as a server owner, you'll be able to promote certain items and they'll be displayed to your players. Uh, if you do forward slash uh, player lands item, it will give you a book, uh, which when you right click on, it has some text in. So welcome to your player land store, visit our store to see the latest promotions, open to find out more, click here to visit our store. If you go into your plugins, player lands, and then config folder, well, not the config folder, the player lands uh, folder, uh, and you see book contents here. So the title, my player land store, that's the name of the item itself. So you'll see here, my player land store. Um, the law of it is the, uh, so what you'll see when you hover over it, um, that gray text there, that'll be what you put there. And then the body is what is inside of it. So uh, all of this text. And then click here to visit our store, you click that and it will take you to the store. And that will be on the line that has the uh, link at the start. So link colon, and then click here to visit our store. That will take you to that line. Will take you to the store. So that's a nice way to give players uh, just like a, an easier way rather than having to do a command. Um, you can give them the book, uh, and then also you can do player lands shopkeeper. And then the way this works is you do player lands shopkeeper, and then the name of the shopkeeper. So I'm going to do player lands uh, shopkeeper. Uh, I'm just going to call it shop, shopkeep. And then it'll have this shopkeeper created. And there you go, you see shop, shopkeep. Um, and when you right click on that villager, it'll open up the contents of that book. Uh, so that'll be the same configuration as what's in your book. And you can again click on that to get to the store. So that'll be that's a nice kind of way you can make a little hut for them um, and put them around the world. Okay, so once you've had some players buy some things from your store, you're going to want to head over to your account button. Uh, and then to get the money that they've paid uh, for your items, you just want to hit cash out. It'll take you to this cash outs page. Um, if you've not done a cash out yet, there won't be anything here because you haven't done a cash out. Uh, then hit transfer money. Uh, you're going to want to set up an account with your Playerlands Hyper Wallet. So you're going to hit activate account. Stick in your email here, register, come back. That's just a one-time thing. And then hit login uh, and you'll have a password set up um, when you do your activation and then you can just cash out from there. Okay, so that's how to make a Playerland store. If you've got any problems, please leave a comment below or join our Discord. Also on the Playerland's website, we have a very uh, extensive knowledge base and a great support team that are happy to help you out all the time. We're always looking to add new features and we've got loads planned for the future. So please do get involved and let us know what you think. And we hope that you can create a great Minecraft community with a great Minecraft store.